I am playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Worldwide every other day until I reach 20,000 VR. Join me on this exciting journey of highs and lows as we grind in these high VR online rooms. Let's go. And we are back once again playing Worldwide's Road to 20k VR. Except for I'm actually not playing Worldwide. I am in a regional lobby today. That is right, for this episode of Road to 20k VR, I'm going to be playing in regional and showing you guys how much VR you can gain. It is completely busted for, you, for those of you who do not know. It's a super easy way to maximize your VR gains, and that's likely the reason you see maybe some content creators, maybe some people you run into online with such high VR stats, is because basically what happens is the total player base is a little bit less in regional, for your particular VR level. So the algorithm will try to find players a little bit higher, a little bit lower, and you get a bigger variety of skill level of VR level, I should say, because VR is definitely not a complete indicator of skill, more so of the time played in the game and the investment you have made. And that's just the case with pretty much every regional lobby I've ever been in. You get a ton of players, you know, maybe around 1,000, super new players and you get a ton of players around like 90,000 like I cannot tell you guys how many players I've run into that are sitting at 99,999 or very close to and wow we almost get comboed everything is coming at us and by the way we're currently sitting at 16,584 VR a gain of 143 over the last episode and that is because another bomb goes out oh we just barely get hit by it like I was saying, that's because my last episode, my last video rather, using some underrated combos netted me a gain of 143 VR, a very successful session in general. And that seems to always be the case, right? Where I do a lot better in the, you know, in the videos where I have no pressure to gain VR. Whereas when I'm playing in this series, I always seem to do a lot worse, you know, in regard to VR gains. But this first episode, we're going to kick things off right with a second place. And let's see our VR gain for the first race. The video, a nice plus 20. And funny enough, even though I was just saying in that last race, how there's a ton of players with really low VR, I actually have more evenly matched VR than I typically do in a regular worldwide. You know, there's a ton of players between 15 and 20k which when I normally play is just not the case. I get maybe one or two other players and then I am the highest rated player by a little bit. Um, but to make up for that, there's also a ton of players that are lower rated, you know, maybe 5,000 to 10,000. And there's also a player who's around 28,000 as well. So a lot more variety. But like I was saying, just because someone has a certain amount of VR does not mean they are necessarily more skilled at the game. And speaking from experience, of course, this is completely anecdotal, but in my experience playing this game, basically a Japanese player with 13,000 VR is much better than an American player, you know, with 40,000 VR. Like I said, that's not always the case, but typically, like I said, the worldwides in this game give me a lot more grief than any regional lobby ever has. And of course, it's not to say there's no skilled American, North American players, but I think on average, you know, it's not the full story which is exactly why I'm showing you guys what these regional races are like here. In today's episode, we almost get trailed. We throw that red shell. Gotta watch out for this super horn. Go ahead and snag the double here. What can we get? That's not a terrible pull, but nothing great. It went for the snipe. We miss it. We almost get fired there. I'm gonna go ahead and mushroom up here. Try not to get backed by these green shells here. And what else can we get? We get yet another mushroom here. The bomb goes off. It takes out that player. And I'm gonna cruise all the way into third, another successful race. Now just trying to finish in the top couple spots consistently. And for this next race, I'm going to get a VR gain of plus 14. And we are back on Yoshi's Island here for this next race. And I guess one thing that I further need to clarify is the fact that even though the average player, you know, might be a little bit worse, it's still not necessarily easy to get consistent first place. Like I'm still very happy with a podium finish and wow, what a banana snipe taking us out right away. So I still not, you know, do not necessarily get a lot of first place in these lobbies, but I can consistently crack the top three or top four, you know, a lot more easily than I ever could in worldwides. And it's honestly been a while since I've played in regionals, you know, back before I started making YouTube videos, I might have a lot more often. 
is another thing that's great about regionals is the fact that the lag with items seems to be a lot better like you don't have to or you don't experience rather some random you know items hitting you getting lag trailed even though you're not even close to the other player and overall it's just a better experience playing this game so i cannot blame people if they would like to play you know mario Kart deluxe that way in these regional lobbies but at the end of the day i do believe it's a, a little bit less uh, yeah i almost got sniped there how to stop what i was even saying but i was gonna say it's a little bit less of a challenge of course with that being the case and i'm gonna mushroom up here and pull out my protection here i saw that red shell was coming from that player but it's still no easy task, like I've been saying, to win these races, although consistently gaining VR is definitely a lot easier. That is without a doubt. We hit the shortcut, unfortunately, for that player above us, ahead of us. But that red shield doesn't go for us. It goes for them. Now they're without protection. And first, this player beside us is right here. Can we snipe them? And actually snipe the player beside me. It's a little bit of lag. Kind of goes against the point I was just saying. And wow, we both pull coins in first and second. That is sad to see. I think we just outlined them there. I'm not really sure what happened. Go ahead and get another item here. It looks like they get the red shell because they're actually in second with that box. So I'm going to go ahead and just let them go by here. Hopefully not get trailed by them. We hit the bomb here. I'm going to try to snipe them with this bomb. See if we can take them out a little bit wide on my part. But that's okay because the blue shell is out. It's going to hit them off. We get some protection for the red. Unfortunately, I missed the shortcut though. Oh, but someone hits it. Wow, at the very last second. I'm like at the front of that shortcut completely. And we're going to come away with the first place here. Finally, the first, first place of the video. And now let's see what my VR gains will be for this next race. A plus 25. Let's go. And we are back here on Electrodrome for this next race. One thing I didn't notice, or didn't mention rather, and that you guys might have noticed is the fact that I'm using Yoshi Pipe Frame, not my usual Yoshi Teddy. And as you guys probably know, the Pipe Frame got a bit of a buff in Wave 5. It is definitely a meta build now. And it's pretty much like very similar to the Teddy Buggy. I think it's slightly worse speed stats, like in the secondary speed stats, like anti gravity and air speed, and slightly better handling stats. So overall, you know, it's very minimal the difference. And it's definitely a viable build. It is a build that is a ton of fun to use as well. And I've been using it quite a bit with some of the newly buffed characters of Wave 5, like Male Villager and Tanuki Mario, one of my favorite builds to use in the game right now, because they basically have the same stats as the Yoshi character class now. And can we get the snipe on this player? Looks like we missed that one, but can we get that one? We missed that one as well. I'm going to save this mushroom just for a little bit here. We're in fifth. Kind of keeping up with the pack. I think the front couple spots have a little bit of a breakaway on us. I can go ahead and just mushroom up here. Slowly but surely use all of them. Get another double set here. And yeah, the players in the front are breaking away. I'm starting to break away from the rest of the pack myself. And it should be an interesting rest of the race here. I'm actually going to go ahead and chain everything here. Just back that boomerang. Get another double here. What can we get? We get another red shell. So I'm going to throw that and go ahead and use my mushrooms on the shortcut here. How to use two, a little bit of a scuffed landing there. And now we're right here with them. But the rest of the pack is definitely going to be catching up. I'll go ahead and get rid of that blooper. It looks like the blue shell is out, which is good news for me. As we are just right here. We can see the Yoshi player. We can see the Luigi player in first. Unfortunately, our bomb gets stolen there. Hopefully they don't back that. They do. Wow, it bounces off the wall and breaks on nothing. That was so close to taking me out there. And yeah, the rest of the pack, actually, I don't know what happened. I think everyone is just comboing each other in the very back. But we are just so far ahead the top three spots here that I doubt I can really make up any spots here, even with, you know, a good shortcut here. It's going to be close, and I'm actually going to get taken out by the red. Actually, no, I'm not. I think the Piranha ate it. So I'm going to keep my third. Could not pass that player for a second, unfortunately. The shock is finally out. And we're going to have to wait another couple seconds here. So let's see what VR gains I can get for this next race. And any second now, I thought there was going to be it there. Looks like the players are finally finishing. And we get a plus 10, so not too bad. And we are back for the next race here on GBI Snowland. One of my favorite tracks. And this is a much better example, guys, of kind of how crazy the VR differences can be in these regional lobbies. You know, in that last race, the players that finished in top 3, I think the player in first had 60,000 VR. The player in second was similar to us and was around 15,000. And then everyone else in the back of the pack was more or less at, you know, like four or 5,000. 
So it's kind of like in my usual worldwide lobbies where I'm way ahead of the competition. You know, if I don't get a top spot, I'm going to lose VR. But in theory, because of the VR difference, I should be able to get a top spot pretty much every single race because I'm just so much farther ahead of everybody. And that's kind of the case with these lobbies as well. And I think that's why there's such a difference in the pack on that last race, just because the VR difference is so great. And we're going to once, ag once again rather go for the shortcut here. Unfortunately, our mushroom gets stolen. We still have the star though, thankfully. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to that here. Hopefully I can save it for the shortcut on lap three. Maybe break away and get into first place. And it might get stolen, but I'm just going to, you know, take that chance here. And you can already see, okay, it looks like there's actually a shock. That one player in the bullet bill dodged there. And maybe that Yoshi in the star did as well. So it's going to be interesting here. I think we're still in a good spot. We're not too far behind the pack though, so I don't really think I'm going to get anything crazy from this next box. And I'm not really going to be able to take the shortcut either because I just got that box now. Can we get the snipe on this player? It looks like we cannot. Okay, we take them out there. Go ahead and get another box here. And I think I'll go ahead and chain once again at this next set. Go ahead and spam everything back. The blue is out. We get this red shell so we can hit the player in second there. The player in first about to get blue shell. Maybe I can combo them here with these triple green shells. And it looks like I do just barely on the line and we steal the first. What a finish. Probably wouldn't have happened in worldwide, you know, probably would have lagged too much. I would have still finished in second. That's happened to me more times than I can count. And we're gonna get a plus 19. Let's go. And we are back, Mount Wario, for this next race here. And I think that last race ending really illustrates why some players just prefer regionals over worldwides. You know, that snipe likely wouldn't have landed if I was playing worldwide. So let's be honest, guys. I've had that exact situation happen I don't know how many times before where you hit the player and then they just keep going. Their momentum, their online lag carries them forward because they might not actually have been in that exact spot because of the lag online. And, you know, it's just nice to finally see it come together like it just did there and actually get the first place when that happens. And we can kind of see this player that's been finishing up front as I fail there. It's actually pretty good at the game. You know, they are around 66,000. They seem to know the faster route, seem to consistently do well in the front of the pack. And I'm going to go ahead and spam that super horn before the blue gets there, just so I don't accidentally horn it while I'm trying to chain. Unfortunately, I missed the double box, but we get the mushroom. They're going to get blued here. We're going to be able to pass them likely and take the shortcut as well. We can also get rid of this blooper, which is going to be nice. And maybe I can steal their box here. It looks like I can. What can we get? Oh, I actually missed the other box though, and we only pull the coin. So that is not good for us. And I think I'll go ahead and just chain this at the next set as soon as I can here, just so we can hopefully get some protection. And I can hear them right behind me. It is super close. I'm going to get up my protection here. I've made the mistake of waiting to do that and then getting red shell before I can get out my protection. Too many times, you know, there's a little bit of a delay when you're trying to spam your items in sequence. You have to wait just a tad bit to get your second item out. The shock is out there fairly early. We get a bomb here. I think I'll just save that in case they have a red or anything. I doubt I'll be able to hit them just because the track is so wide here. And I think what I'm going to do is actually go to the other side here, see if I can take them out. It looks like I missed them, just like I thought. But we get double protection. The blue shell is out. Is it going to be here in time to take me out? Does this player have a mushroom to take the shortcut? It looks like the answer is no to both of those questions. And we're going to finish in first once again. And we're going to wait here for everyone else to finish. Get, we get a nice view though. It's kind of nice on this track. You're turned around, get to watch everyone else race. And now let's see what my VR gains will be. Another plus 19. And we are back here playing on Waluigi Pinball. And it looks like our friend with 66,000 VR finally left the room. I feel like that's quite common anytime I've ever played these regional races. It's you have a player that's really high VR trying to grind for more. Whenever they run into another player that is stealing their thunder, you know, getting a lot of top positions like we have in this video so far, they go ahead and just back out because I am just, you know, ruining their VR gains. That's really it. They're looking to prey on these lower VR players for some easy wins. And I mean, that's kind of what I'm doing, but I'm only going to do this for one video. You know, this is a one-time thing for the series. This is a showcase you know, the potential if you guys are really looking to grind VR. Just kind of the difference from a normal uh, worldwide lobby. Wow, super early shock. We almost get pinballed there. And, you know, so far it has been quite successful as you guys have seen. 
pretty much gotten a top four spot every single race with a ton of first place. Fortunately, we get comboed there. We'd not have an item after that shock, but we're still in second here. We should be able to get another top placement in this race. But as you guys saw, I came in first. I think I got plus, what, 19? So it, the VR gains, although are easy to attain, are very minimal in general because the players you're playing against just aren't as highly rated, right? So it's a lot harder to gain VR. I mean, I think in the long run, uh, you know, it's a little bit easier, but it seems like you're moving at a much slower pace because, you know, getting plus 10 or 15 of race as opposed to plus 25 or 30 when you win, is gonna make it so it takes a lot longer to reach your VR goal, whatever that may be. Uh, for us, of course, it is 20K, and this episode should be helping us out quite a bit in the long run. At least because I'm not going to be losing any, hopefully. I'm not going to be, you know, I'm going to be gaining some, although not too much. It is still a gain, which is what we're going for. But it's kind of funny, in these episodes, pretty much every single time, I make more VR gains when I'm not trying to than when I am. Like, case in point, my video from yesterday using underrated combos, I gained like over 100, which is not typical for one of these episodes. Whereas like the last couple episodes, I think I gained maybe like around 100, if even 100, or maybe around 30. There's one I gained around 40, I can remember. So, you know, in general, it just hasn't been as easy to make these huge VR gains. So I will take slow and steady all day, of course. That's what it's all about. Like I keep reiterating here is that we're just looking to consistently finish in the top spots, try not to lose VR, and we almost get pinballed again. We get some more protection here. Try not to get pinballed here at the end. Looks like that player has a red shell. Oh, thankfully it gets taken out by that pinball because they had a second red shell. That could have been the end of our day. But we're going to keep our first here. Another first on, I think that's like three races in a row. Just killing it in this regional lobby. And we're going to wait for everyone else to finish here in the back of the pack. And now let's see what my VR gains will be for this next race. Another plus 17, not too bad. And we are back on Baby Park. It looks like we're in mirror mode, actually. And as always, I'm gonna go ahead and bag on this track. Should be a lot of fun. I'll try to get some coins here. Go ahead and just go backwards, get even more coins, and try to make a crazy comeback here. I think we can go now. We're almost a lap behind, actually. That's gonna be fine here. We're gonna be able to pull the most broken items in the game. And just the way the item sets are lined up here. It is just super easy to make a comeback, of course. Basically getting like a double item set every single lap, no matter what. And yeah, we're already catching up to the pack here. Oh, and I let the star expire. I thought I had a little bit longer. End up going right into that banana, funny enough. And we're all the way in ninth now. This one's gonna run out here. I can go ahead and star up. Try not to get banana again there. We have another star. We're all the way up into third. We get the red shell. Yeah, finally not getting the power items because we've already made our way up into the pack it looks like. Go ahead and just back all these green shells, try to extend our third place lead here. We go ahead and red that sh uh, red shell that player rather is what I'm trying to say here. I'm trying to concentrate a little bit too hard. Can't really keep up with my commentary here. We get double reds. Oh, I trailed that player when I went to throw the other one. I was going to double red the player in first. That player passes us. We red shell them right away. We get a mushroom and first is a little bit too far. But I'm going to take a second, which is not bad. I will take a second all day. And now let's see what our VR gains will be for this next race. A plus 12. And for the next race here, we are playing on Mute City. And I'm going to try to front run this race, I think. I'll go ahead and get some coins, but then go, you know, straight from there. I bagged a little bit that last race, finished in second, didn't get the first place I was looking for. And we're already in the thick of it in the pack here because I opted to go for some coins rather than trying to get ahead of the pack. And we're going to get a mushroom here. I'm just going to use that and try to get by everybody here. A little bit of questionable lines. We get backed. And I'm just going to slow down here. And yeah, we're in 12. We can just get some coins, get some good items. And we're going to get redded. Okay, thankfully we're not. Well, wow, everyone got taken out. That must have been like a bomb or something. And we're going to get boomeranged, I think that was. Try not to go off the edge here. We're going to get boomeranged again. Wow. Twice in a row. I'll go ahead and just use this mushroom for the shortcut. And hopefully we can catch up to the pack here. Thankfully the boomerang misses that time. We're just getting comboed like crazy already. We almost get backed by those green shells. And we're back in the swing of it here. Trying to keep up with the pack. We get another coin. We're up to nine. Hopefully I don't get hit any more than I already have. And oh, it looks like we have boomeranged once again. So many boomerangs this race already. Looks like there is a bullet. I'll try to avoid that here. 
try not to get red shelled by this player. I'll go ahead and let them use it. Looks like it took the other player out, maybe. I'll go for some more coins here. And we get the Piranha Plant. I'll just burn that right away. Gotta watch out for that blue shell coming by. I'm gonna have to go around the shortcut this time. And get the double box instead. Hopefully get some protection. Yeah, first is actually right there. You can go ahead and throw that red shell. I think that might have connected. I'm not sure. Oh no, it's just lag. Okay, that's the first example of pretty bad lag I've seen in these regionals. Looks like it connected, but it actually did not. The shock is out. Yeah, the player in first has a bit of a lead. But we should be able to make the gap here. Hopefully there is another blue shell. We get a red shell. I'll just go ahead and hold that for some protection for now. Hit these spin boosters. Get our mini turbos. Looks like I'm going to have to waste my red shell for protection. I can't throw it out first here. We get another red shell though. So what I can do is hold on to this and launch it right at first as soon as I go for the shortcut here. We go ahead and throw it now. Use our mushroom in the shortcut. And hopefully we can pass them. It's going to be really close here. We're going to be just short it looks like. Wow, what a close finish. The blue shell was incoming. Look at that lead on the rest of the pack. Yet another second. But like I said, I am completely okay with a second. It just means some more positive VR gains. And we get another plus 13. And we are back playing on DS Mario Circuit here for this next race. Looking for some more VR gains. And as always, I'm going to go ahead and bag. I'm going to wait for the next double set though. And it looks like that player is actually going to take my coins that I was going for. We can go ahead and red shell them. We get red shelled. Someone else gets taken out. And that's okay. Like I said, I was going to bag here anyways. I don't really mind. It looks like that Rosalina player is bagging pretty hard in the back as well. I'm going to go ahead and back up here. Looks like we get a bunch of mushrooms. I'll go ahead and burn all of those. Get another double set here. We get the star. I'll use that right away. And go ahead and get some more coins. We should be able to get up to 10. Yeah, it looks like we will be at 10 now. I'll go ahead and chain once again. And see if we can make a nice comeback here. I'm going to use those mushrooms just so I can start this golden timer. And while we get packed by a stray green, catching strays out here, we can go ahead and get up to 10 coins once again. Looks like the player behind us has a gold in. No shock just yet. We can go ahead and collect another item box here. We get the star. I'll use that right away. That will take us through to the next item set here to get another double. Gotta watch out for this player in the crazy eight behind us. Might be like a bomb or something. And look at that. We have a male villager pipe frame. Love to see it. Go ahead and chain our star. Get another item here. We're all the way up into the pack, into sixth place here. And we get double mushrooms. That's going to help us out for the shortcut coming up here. Unfortunately, we might get red shell. Looks like we're not. The blue is out. It's going to hit that player just ahead of us here shortly. We're going to watch out for the blast radius, but we should be in a really good position. And it looks like they actually got taken out by the fire. I'm going to have to go way around them. I'm going to opt to save my mushrooms for the double shortcut here instead of going for that shortcut. And then I'm going to go ahead and chain and get another double item box here. Let's see what else we can get. We have a little bit of a lead. We have the banana with the coin in the pocket. Hopefully there's no red shell boo combo. It looks like there's not going to be. And we're going to come away with yet another first place here. Let's go. Now let's go ahead and see what our VR gains are going to be. Just going to have to wait a couple more seconds for all these other players to finish the race. And should be maybe like plus 15, I'm going to guess. We get a plus 17, so not bad at all. And we are back here playing on Sky High Sunday for the next race. And actually, now that I think about it, so far this session, we've pretty much only got in tracks that I really enjoy playing. This is really the first one where I'm not really too excited to play. So let's hopefully get a good placement here. Try to keep up to the front of the pack. Went ahead and use my mushroom there. Go for the double box here. Try to get some more coins and keep going. Now, I'm not really sure if you can do it easily on 150, but I still don't really know the ending shortcut here. I think it's mainly like a 200cc thing, but you can basically you know, cut off this whole last corner with a mushroom. It's pretty crazy. And we avoid that red shell with our green there for some protection. Go ahead and get some more coins. Get up to 10 here. Hopefully it's more protection. This player is right on top of us already. And the pack is fairly close as well. So really anything could happen here. You know, if we get blue shelled, could be bad news. Unfortunately, I miss the second item box there. But we do pull some protection in the form of a banana here. It looks like we end up trailing that player but they're gonna throw their red shell at us either way. So it looks like we take each other out. There's the blue shell. Can I stop in time? It looks like I'm unable to. Or wait, no, I am. It rerouted. I saw the blue shell on the map going for me. And then all of a sudden it was not there. It went the other way and hit that player. 
Wow, super lucky on my end. I went to break. I did break for like literally one second and it worked out for us. Wow, we have a mushroom and a red shell in first now. What a sequence, what a play. You know, I will take all the luck I can get when it comes to that sort of thing because when you get blue shelled, you know, there's no guarantee that you're not going to just get comboed and get taken all the way down into a bottom spot. So I'm going to try to keep front running here. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to use this mushroom, but we can go ahead and get another double box. Okay, there's another blue shell. Can we get the super horn this time? It looks like we will be unable to. I'll go ahead and just throw that banana so I can hit myself, get the dodge. I thought I was actually going to go off the track there. Thankfully, we didn't, but we're going to get comboed before I can get out my banana. But the shock happens. We get the iframe dodge. I think one player might have dodged in that star that's approaching us. We're still in first though. Okay, we do get past. Thankfully, we don't get trailed there. We get bumped. I miss my trick. So it looks like I will have to take a second. But like I said, I'll take a second all day. It just means some more positive VR gains. And now let's see what we can get for this next race. We get a plus 13. And we're unfortunately back on Waluigi Pinball, the first repeat of the video. And the reason I say unfortunate is because Yoshi's Circuit was in the track roulette, the track selection, as well as Mario Circuit, GBA Mario Circuit. And unfortunately, we end up getting this track, even though only like one or two players picked it. And I always just prefer to, you know, not play duplicate tracks if I can. And it doesn't really help that this is not one of my favorite tracks either, where Yoshi Circuit is. So I guess I'm going to have to roll with it once again. See if I can get another first maybe on this track, like earlier in the episode. And that was a good usage of the coin because that red shell came for me right away. And let's see if I can get a double here. Am I going to get pinballed? Okay, I thought I might. I'm always worried about the way, you know, the pathing, I guess, of the pinballs. We're actually going to get double redded here. And hopefully this player will pass us in time for the blue shell. Wow, it doesn't. That is the worst timing. And there's a shock. That player behind us dodged. We get the iframe dodge, thankfully. But the player in first was on the glider, which means they didn't get slowed down nearly as much as we did. And now they have a little bit of a breakaway here. We're just getting comboed there, but we're still in second. So even though we get comboed, that is not too bad at all there. I'll go ahead and just mushroom up right away. Looks like the player behind us has a star. Well, that is a crazy pull for being in like third place. Maybe they had that in the pocket. Maybe they just pulled it now because the player in first really isn't that too far ahead. You know, I can see them right there. I'll go ahead and throw my red shell at them. Hopefully get some revenge for them double redding us early. It looks like it does indeed connect. And I'm going to go ahead and go for the mushroom here. Get another double. Try not to get pinballed. Oh, we just barely get pinballed there. Can I get the snipe here on them? They go for the ground shroom. Wow, we get the snipe on them. And this time, we are turning the tables. We hit them and they get comboed with the blue shell as soon as it happens. Wow. What a series of events, what a turnaround for us. And now we're the ones with a little bit of a lead, a little bit of a front run here. And that just feels so good, you know, to always get your revenge. And especially with the combo with the blue shell, couldn't have, you know, drew it up any better myself. You know, you can't make these things up. And what I'm going to do here is just go inside, save some time. Just because I already have the coin out front, I'd rather have my protection in the back, of course, in case there is a boo that steals it. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and save this, not even get a new item here because it's already been two blues. You know, what are the chances we get a third blue shell here? I feel like it's pretty low and I spoke too soon. Wow, a third blue shell on this track. Are we going to be able to finish? I think I'm going to just finish in time though, thankfully. And wow, three blue shells on Waluigi Pinball. What a crazy race. What a turnaround. You know, we get the snipe, they get comboed after we got red shelled and comboed. Another shock too. That's like the second shock. What a crazy race. So many items and we're gonna get a nice positive VR gain here of 17. And that will do it for today's episode of Road to 20k VR. We started the episode with 16,584 VR and we finished the episode with 16,780 VR. That is a gain of 196. One of the best episodes we've had in a while. And it's all thanks to regionals, guys. Just wanted to showcase, you know, it's a little bit of a different world in regionals compared to worldwides. A little bit less lag, a little bit more easy VR gains, you know, if you're over the hump of maybe seven or 8,000, a little bit more experienced of a player. And as always, let me know what you guys thought of the episode down in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. 
And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.